Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm messing with the microphone, so if you hear weird noises, that's why. Um, this is going to be a video uh, focused just on relationships. I don't know, I have no idea what, where, what way I want to go with this, but we're just going to go with it. Um, this could end up positive. It could end up not so positive. So we'll see. My name is Amber Dawn, by the way. If you haven't noticed by the name of my channel, Amber Dawn Rising. Oh, and that reminds me. Um, I did notice that there are people or a person that also goes by the title Amber Dawn Rising. And so you know when it's me is my picture is going to be on my profile. I always have my picture on my profile. Um, okay, so I don't know this other Amber Dawn Rising. Um, I do know that they are doing readings. Um, but they don't have like very many followers. They just started in April from what I saw. So I don't know if they're a mimic of me or if, if, if they're just really truly their own, um, you know, if it's their own true name and their own personality. So just to give you a heads up, if you want a reading from me, uh, I will link my email in the bottom. And uh, if you want to be friends with me on Facebook, I don't, I, lately I'm, there's a couple people that I'm a little weary of. And so I don't um, accept everyone. It's not personal. It's just because I'm trying to keep myself out of the drama, honey. So, um, yeah. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't accidentally friend somebody who is trying to cause a ruckus in my life. But, uh, yeah, so, okay, this is going to be an 18 and up video. All my videos are 18 and up, um, but just so you know, <clears throat> there, there may be some nudity. I've got this deck right here that I might be pulling from. So it might get a little explicit. I'm going to just be open. Whatever I see, if I feel like it's sexual, I'm going to speak about sexual stuff. So... If that's not what you're into, go ahead and click off. Not all my videos are like this. If you're cool with that, then please continue and watch the video. So let's just see. So for the collective spirit, please give us the ultimate divine light message from the highest vibration that you can possibly get. Please do not allow any negative energies that are not true into the reading. Uh, please give us a reading that is meant for the people who are going to be watching um, and, and what their highest good is, what they need to know, all that good stuff, Lord. So thank you very much for being here, Spirit. Um, ignore my nails. I'm pushing the cuticles down so I can redo them, so don't judge me. I am not uh, cochino or co cochina, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wow. All right, that popped right out. Three of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. The World of Cosmos. Beautiful, thank you. Let's get one or two more. I have to do it this way because my hands are too small to shuffle these without doing it vertically. Yikes, this is a disaster. Not taking all those. Just one or two more, please, Spirit. Man, y'all want to talk. Spirit wants to talk. This one did flip out, so we're going to take that. Ten of voices, okay. 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 And knight of voice. Wow, we've got a lot of swords here. Wow. So you may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, so we have three of voices. Reversed. 
So it looks like you may be getting out of a situation. Um, there was heartache and somebody may have really done some damage to you, but you're in the recovery process. You're recovering. That's beautiful. Um, you're you're entering into a whole new world so if you've been with this person for a long time you're starting to come to grips with existing in a new reality something you're you're not used to you could have been with this person for a long time even if you were not used to this person or you haven't been in a relationship for, for this person for a long time um it could just mean that um you were incredibly hurt by the situation and you're tired of reliving the same cycles over and over again and so you're ready to end this cycle the cyclic cycle and go into a new you because you've been hurt a lot ten of voices is backstabbing it's being completely torn down to your core people lying to you um, people making you feel less than you are and so ten of voices is ten of swords it's it's the ultimate betrayal if you see she is being impinged by all of these swords and now she's just she's just stuck in limbo but then I noticed the mountain here so um, I do notice that it, it, it's it's elevating you whatever had happened with this relationship you are being elevated okay even though it hurt it's a learning lesson we all go through our lessons and you know we have to do this and then the night of voices and so how i see that is it's just like after that ten of swords happened you have found a new you um look at this pegasus it's flying in the air next to the moon it, it's beautiful over the current here with all these ships and all this chaos down here you're flying above that now all this is the ten of swords that you have experienced within the, this past relationship or many relationships and you have chosen to move past all of that and fly above the chaos and, 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 and I have a lot of dreams like that where when I am in, uh, in my dreams, when I am in um, distress and when I am in danger, I fly. I fly as high as I can go. And the higher I go, the better I feel because that's closer to source. And so that's what I'm feeling here is like now you've, you're finally taking your power back and you're flying to source. You're flying above all the chaos and the bullshit and you're realizing who you really are and you're not allowing the past circumstances to defeat you in any way. Okay. So let's see which deck I want to, I kind of want to use this. I'm being pulled to use this. So we want to see what your person or yeah, let's see what your person wants to say to you. I wasn't very prepared for this video. I was just very called to do it. This will most likely be a two part because we're almost 10 minutes in and I can only do 30 minutes before I have to, I'm taking that, that one just flew out. Oh, okay, there's two. Um, I have to do a two part if it's past 30 minutes. So if you're interested and, and it goes longer, check out the second half as well. So we have pop-up, spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit. We have recalling, reminiscing, memories, and returning. So somebody wants to return to you. Somebody is seeing that they were not not good to you um, and they don't want you to leave because they know with this card, you're flying away. You're out of there. Um, you know, you're ready for new experiences. You're ready for higher relationships that are high, higher evolved. Um, you're not gonna deal with people who constantly stab you in your back and hurt you you're done with that you're the the 10 is an ending you're finished and the world is also an ending 
And so this person sees that you're moving on. And so they're starting to really re-examine what you did in their life, what good you had in their life, and they miss you. They want to be back with you. Threatened, embarrassed, um, okay. So they may have done something to you in the past that had really, it, it made you feel horrible, and now they're re realizing, with the recalling, they're realizing what they did to you. They're realizing that they hurt you so bad and they're embarrassed for that, probably because they're going through something now. If they left you for somebody else, now they're recalling all of that and now they're feeling stupid. They're feeling like a clown. Like, what the hell did I do? I lost somebody who meant so much to me and if I go back to them or try to go back to them, I'm going to look like a clown. I already look like a clown. So, like, they just feel foolish. They feel foolish for hurting you. One more, Spirit. Okay, we'll get a couple more. All right, there's a few more in here. So let's see. So we have access granted in reverse. You're saying, F you. I've had enough of your bullshit. I'm not going to accept your your lies, your cheating, your manipulation, any any of that. Like you're you're done. Um you may have changed your passwords, you may have changed profiles, you may have just completely exited out for that this person to not be you may have blocked them. Access is not granted anymore. You have completely denied this person of access of you because they put you through so much pain and you're so over all these cycles. You're done reliving the same stuff over and over again. Trash. You see them kind of like, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't, I like, and this, this kind of hurts to say it, but it's like, you're kind of trash to me, you know? You've hurt me so bad and I didn't deserve any of this. And um, so now you're just going to be thrown out to the wayside just like you threw me out, you know, just like they threw you out. And so it looks like you're over it, discarding, throwing out. We'll put that there. Lockbox, closed in, trapped, frustrated. That's how they're feeling. They're feeling like... What did I do? Why did I make these horrible decisions? Like, most likely it, it was with a karmic, with somebody else besides you. And, <clears throat> and now that you're completely ending it and shutting yourself off, now they're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Like, I, I want that, that person back. But they're not letting me. I have no access. Access is not granted. And so they're going through it right now. They're, they're definitely going through it. Um, receipts. So they may have done something to you. And in the past with somebody else, you found out. And it left you feeling very hurt. And disappointed. And um, it left you in... It, so three of voices, three of swords. It left you feeling like you were just completely stabbed in your heart your soul everything but now it's reversed you're coming out of that and now they're seeing oh my god what did i do they probably got burned by their person that they hurt you with and <clears throat> so they're realizing that you're walking away and they're like oh my god now they see me as trash hello and then <clears throat> now they feel like there's nowhere to go. They can't reach out to you anymore. Which if they hurt you, of course. Like why, what, there's only so much somebody can take. There was receipts. There was proof. You saw something. You were told something. Something happened. And um, they feel threatened by it. They may even be feeling mad at you. Because you decided that you're not going to deal with their clownish ass bullshit. 
okay, they can keep being mad, but sorry, like, you did this to yourself. You did this to yourself, clown. So deal with it. Deal with it. All right? All right, let, let me get into this here. Let's get into the mirror deck oracle. I haven't used these for a while. And I think it's going to be very fitting for what this topic is. All right, Spirit, what do you have to say about this? Hiding your true self. Alone in the world. Yeah. So whoever you were with was trying to hide how they truly felt about you. They had a lot of feelings for you. They, they really did, but there was something in the way. It could have been a person. It could have been just their fears, ego, whatever the situation. Um, they were pretending to be somebody else than they were. And when you do that, you're just going to create a world of falseness. You're going to have people come into your lives who are fake. And um, you're going to experience things that are not true to you, you know. And then on the bottom of the deck was alone in the world. What did that cause them? Being fake, now they're alone. Now they're completely feeling like even if they have people in their lives, they're still feeling alone. Because they decided to choose something or someone over you and um, be a fucking clown. Be a clown, honey. That's them. They're a clown. Look at the, all that paint on their face. They're being deceptive. They were not being them true selves. And now they're alone by themselves, feeling hopeless, feeling like the one that they loved got away. I don't feel bad. Do you? No. Let's get a couple more out of this deck. <clears throat> you know, people make their bed, they got to lay in it, right? Lay in your motherfucking bed. Yeah, so this person had a false mask on because they are trying to hide their pain. They've been through a lot of pain in their life. But who hasn't? That's the thing. Okay, great. So hurt people hurt people. That doesn't make it any better. That doesn't mean that that's okay. Like, okay, you're hurt. I've been hurt too. And yes, I have hurt people in the past. So... I kind of get that part. Okay, so let me just step back and check myself. I get it. Hurt people do hurt people because they don't know any better and they're scared and all of that stuff. Look at all these flies on her chest. It's like every fly represents the pain that they've gone through in their life. But it also represents, like, the bondage that they're going through. See how her eyes are covered? And so they're just bound by the pain that they've gone through. And they, they haven't worked on it. They haven't healed. And you can't be in a, in a relationship with somebody who hasn't healed. They're just going to keep hurting you. So you cannot, you, it's, it's okay to have empathy for people who have been through pain, and their, but, but you cannot just keep accepting their bullshit onto you. Like, you're just wanting to love them. Let's get some of these. Yeah, so it's like, you know, sure, you've been through pain, but I'm not your, pa I'm not your ex. I'm not the person that puts you through all that pain, you know? I'm here to love you. And if you're not ready for that, okay, that's fine. But be honest. Don't go and hurt me. But, you know, life is life. Like, we've all hurt people. We've all been hurt by people. And it just happens, you know? It happens. 
And it's like, that's the hard part is like being able to accept that and just move on and and, and then um, also forgive them because, you know, I'm trying to forgive things that have happened in my, my past and I am. But if they show back up into my life, I'm not so forgiving yet. You know, it's like I, you hurt me to the core. And until I get a, a sincere apology, a sincere apology, not no bullshit apology. Like, I'm sorry, can we start over? And then that's it. No, no, no. I want to know what you're sorry for. Tell me exactly what you did wrong. Exactly. I want to know everything. And that's just how I am. Not everybody wants to know everything, right? All right. Let's see what we have in, um, this is in the shadows Oracle deck. Okay. I found this one on Etsy, I believe. Yeah. So all things intuitive. That's the website. Okay. I am not coming back. Oh my God. Whoa. I am not coming back. I wish you would come back. They are so conflicted and confused. So basically what I'm getting from this is that they're not going to reach out to you. They want you to reach out to them. No, if they're the one that did the wrong, they need to reach out. They need to figure out exactly how to contact you. Even if you have them blocked, they can reach out to you by email or a letter if they know where you live or through friends, they can reach out to you somehow. They need to stop being a little bitch. <clears throat> I'm not coming back, but I wish you would come back. What the fuck? What is that? that that's cowardly. I'm sorry, but that's a coward right there. I want to tell you so much. Okay, well then how about you reach out to me and tell me what you have to say? What is it that you have to say? And, and I, I feel like this person is such a coward that they, um, <clears throat> they, um, I lost what I was going to say. So let me just re recalibrate here. Um, yeah, they're just a coward. That's all. I forgot what I was going to say. I've been struggling. So this person has been struggling. They miss you. They um, want a way to reconnect with you, but they feel so stupid because they're a fucking clown. They acted like a clown and then they lost some, somebody who was a good person for them. Even just a friend, you know, you can just be friends with people. But they, from what I'm feeling off this is they completely just, with the Ten of Swords, they, they, they completely screwed you over. And so now they're so cowardly, they can't fight it in their heart or their soul or their balls to contact you and say, hey, I fucked up, you know, I know you hate me, but like, can we at least try and be civil, you know, or something, or how about an apology, you know? Because those 10 swords are, are no joke. That's some serious stuff. That's serious. Okay, here's the last card for that. I've been struggling. Wait, where are the... Oh, shit, that came out again? Because this was on the bottom of the deck. And then I started shuffling. And that popped out again. I've been struggling. So your person's struggling. They are struggling. But do not reach out to them. Why? Why? Because they're the ones who broke your heart with the three of swords. It's reversed now. You're healing. You don't need to be reaching out to somebody who hurt you this bad. Look at these eyes in the background. They're just like, yeah, I'm hurting, so I'm going to make you hurt. No, that doesn't, that's not a good excuse. You're finally healing from all of that. That's why it's in the reverse. You're healing from this backstabbing bullshit that they did to you because they were a fucking clown. They're a pussy. So do they deserve 
for you to come back. I wish you would come back. Do they deserve that? No. No. Because they're saying, I am not coming back. Oh, so you're that prideful to where you can't admit, admit your mistakes? Bullshit. No. Okay, you've been struggling. Well, is it because you feel guilty because you want to tell them, uh, tell them so much? They want to tell you so much? You know? Yeah. It's because they have a lot of, lot of secrets. And they put you through the ringer. Mm-mm-mm. All right. Let's pull some other cards. <clears throat> this it will be a two-part. I'm going to do these ones now. So these ones are the Steampunk Tarot, if you're interested. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, let us know what's been going on with the person that has hurt our viewers. Let's see. I want to clarify. I am not coming back. <clears throat> Let's clarify. I am not coming back spirit. I am not coming back. Clarify spirit. I am not coming back. All right, this one was, up, um, I already know what it is. It's the moon. I knew the moon was going to come back. <clears throat> or no, that's the star. Okay. Page of Pentacles. All right. The star. <clears throat> and King of Wands reversed. Okay. So... <clears throat> They are ashamed. Okay, so they, they had somebody else in mind who they felt like financially they would do better with. <clears throat> they wanted to offer you a page. Okay. They wanted to offer you the bare minimum. And you're a star. You cannot be offered the bare minimum. Most likely you're an emperor or an empress as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that came out. And um, so they offered you the bare minimum. And because they were coming from the king of wands space, like the, the um, all about sex, all about um, what they can do for themselves, selfish energy. So they were leaving the star behind and offering you the page of pentacles, which is the bare minimum, because they were imbalanced. They were imbalanced king of wands. Their fire was turned upside down. Their passions were going toward people or things or situations that were for selfish reasons. This wasn't because of you. This is because they were upside down backwards and fucked up. This had nothing to do with you as a person. This had everything to do um, with them as a person. All my cards fell on the floor, sorry. All right, so let's get these situated. All right, so this is almost gonna be a two part. It's almost at 30 minutes already. I wish you would come back. What do you, what are you saying spirit? I wish you would come back. Knight of wands reversed. Wow. All these wands are reversed. If this is a fire sign, they're, they're totally 
uh, discombobulated. They're not doing very well. Um, as far as their ego and we'll see you on the second half. All right, you guys, we're back. So yeah, they're all backwards. Like their, their passion, they have their, their will and their fire and their desires to accomplish something special in their life is completely upside down. They have all their morals are upside down. Their integrity is upside down. They don't know left from right right now. And they need some assistance with, with the higher font. Um, also, it may be a marriage that they're, they're in or a strong commitment that they're in that is just leaving them completely bound and upside down. Um, to have the, the knight, the king of wands reversed and the king of wands reversed. I'm sorry, the, the king of wands and the knight. I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't talk today. Story of my life. Anyway, so yeah, this, this person is like, they got their morals and integrity and beliefs all fucked up. And, um, you don't need to be going back to that. You need to like allow them time to heal and recover from whatever it is that they're going through so that they can come as like a full um emperor you know the one that you that you need or empress you know that the, the, you can switch the roles you can switch the the genetics the feminine and masculine with all of these cards um sometimes i'm more masculine than i am feminine because i'm a gemini we're a masculine sign so you can switch the roles, okay? Um, I've been struggling. What have they been struggling about? Oh, they're not getting the attention that they want. They want, they want success. They want people to admire them. So there may be some judgments going on within your circle or within the people that they're dealing with that they feel like are going to judge them if they go toward you or they're going through a situation right now where they feel like people are judging them. Yeah, that's what it is. They feel like people are judging them right now. I've been struggling. And then six of wands because people are seeing their bullshit. Now they're like, why did you make the choices you made? Like what is wrong with you? You know, yikes. I want to tell you so much. Ooh, death popped out. Oh, yeah. See, that's, again, death. They're going through a cycle. Um, they're realizing that the choices that they made were not the right choices. And people are looking at them now like they are kind of dumb for doing what they did. Possibly for leaving you or, you know just making the choices that they made, they're going through some type of death, some type of spiritual death because they're not getting the recognition that they typically get because it seems like this person's full of ego because, you know, we have all this, these wands, all this fire and, and they're not getting what they typically are used to. And now they're like, Oh no, my reputation. I want to tell you so much. Spirit, I want to tell you so much. Thank you. Page of Cups. They want to tell you that they love you. They want to tell you how much they care. And they possibly are acknowledging that they messed up. They held back. They didn't say what they needed to say. And now all of this recognition that they used to get in the past now people are recognizing them for being a fool. Now people are seeing them because all of these receipts, they're seeing like how foolish this person was. Um, and then the clown card, wherever the hell that one went. I don't know where the clown card went. But yeah, they're, they're feeling really trapped now. Like, what did I do? I made the wrong decision. Well, you're bad, motherfucker. Do you want to tell us more about I want to tell you so much? Thank you. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles reversed. 
There's somebody else in their life that caused chaos, havoc, somebody who's very selfish, somebody who's totally about money. They don't care about anybody else but money. Yeah, super selfish. What can you do for me? Can you buy me this? Can you buy me that? Yeah, They're, they they were dealing with somebody else that um, screwed everything up, but the, but really they're the ones that screwed everything up they're the ones that created the three of swords in your life because of the queen of pentacles reversed this isn't even a loving person this is somebody who's greedy selfish and all about themselves it's, it's gross and they chose that over you so great that's great well have fun feeling sad and feeling like you're a piece of trash. You know, it's like they they made you feel like you're trash. Well, now they feel like they're trash because of what they did, the bad choices they made. All right. So, let's take some from the Kipper real quick. All right. Kipper, what do you have to say about this reading? Kipper, what do you have to say? I'm trying to find that clown card. So that clown card was like, there we go. I think this is it. Yeah. Clown. C -c 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 clown. It's what happens when you think with your wand or your the JJ and not your fucking heart. you have to say, Kipper, about this reading? Gift. Privileged lady. Expectation. Child. Marriage. Thoughts. Occupation. This could go a few different ways. Um, with the gift and the privilege, privileged lady, maybe they offered somebody else a gift of their love instead of you. Um, or maybe they want to offer you a gift. Uh, expectation. Somebody was expecting something from this gift. The privileged lady was expecting something more than what they what this person had to offer okay so this person that they chose to go to this um ah okay yeah this queen of pentacles reversed oh no my battery's gonna die um fuck now it's gonna be a three-part guys sorry unless i decide to put the videos together i could do that but this privileged lady, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, was expecting something bigger than what they had to offer, is what I'm seeing here. Um, they're staying in it because of a child, or this privileged lady is acting like a child. Um, this privileged lady could be someone they're in a marriage with, okay? So there's a child involved because of, of a marriage and this privileged lady. But now this person is thinking about everything that's gone on. And um, they may be trying to mess with their money or job or work. So there may be something that's going on that this person's threatening this person like I'm gonna get your job I'm gonna get you for all your money and I'm gonna use our child and our marriage and everything against you so that I can get everything that I want because I am the motherfucking Queen of Pentacles reversed because I'm a bitch an unhealthy greedy bitch all right I'm changing the battery part three is coming up Sorry, y'all. Uh, yeah, I've never done a part three. That's pretty sad, but we'll get it done. So if you're still with me, what I want to do now is I want to uh, see what your person's thinking about you. 
now that they're in all of this chaos and all of this craziness with this queen of pentacles reversed which queen of pentacles can be an earth sign okay taurus capricorn or virgo um it doesn't have to be that sign we do have other signs out here as well but i do want to see what they're thinking about you here comes the nudity so if you don't like nudity go ahead and click off now because we're going to be showing some titties in this one all right what does the collective's person think about them now now that all of this stuff is showing face now everything is surfacing now they're starting to realize let's see what are they thinking about collective right now i'm going to do it one more time this battery isn't charged up fully either so well it's not too bad it's like halfway so we'll get there i might just c connect all of the videos together and you don't have to worry about going to back and forth i don't know if you guys drink and you're on a low carb diet and you haven't tried truly these are pretty good they're five percent alcohol one gram sugar and a hundred um calories so just so you know all right what does this person what does a collective's person think about them right now now that they know what's going on now that they're starting to see maybe they shouldn't have screwed over collective because now they got to deal with some greedy person who's using their children and money to control them. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So we've got king of swords. Ooh. <clears throat> Knight of pentacles. The fool. And two of wands. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm seeing here with the king of, of swords, okay? This is somebody who's ready to speak the truth, nothing but the truth, even if it hurts somebody. So they are sick of pretending, um, which reminds me. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Bear with me. I want to tell you so much. Oh, it was one of these cards. Blinded to pain. Oh, here it is. Hiding your true self. Okay. So this person's been hiding them true selves just to please other people. Not you, though. Not pleasing you. They were pleasing somebody else because of children, marriage, all of that other stuff. So they're, they're hiding their true self. But now with the king of swords they're ready to reveal how they really feel they're like no this is what's going on i'm going to tell you the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and if you see this could possibly be you who they're telling the truth to or and this could be the queen of pentacles in reversed saying what the fuck like what now you're now you're gonna go tell this bitch all of all of the stuff i've done or all of the stuff we've done together you know and this person is like very vulnerable very willing to listen like okay tell me king what's your truth you know roles can be reversed okay so if you're a female and you're in the king's position just reverse it okay I love these cards. They're hot. Okay. So now we have Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to rush in. And we had the Knight of Pentacles in here earlier. Where is it? We did. Oh, this was the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So they went for, from a page to a knight. So, which is good. That means that they're evolving. They're starting to um, see like what 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 they need to do. They're becoming more brave, right? Especially with this King of Pentacles. That's amazing. The Knight of Pentacles is like, come here. I want to um, give you something. Like, see how he's hold he's holding like um, what is that? It's like a mango or something like that. 
So he's like, here, here's my offer. I want to offer you something, you know, like, and she's like, I don't know. I don't know. You've kind of put me through a lot of shit. I don't know. But he's like, please, like, I, I want to sweep you off your feet and take you away. Um, and then we have the fool. This person is ready to jump blindly into um, giving you the truth, into offering you something new and stable. Like they're done messing around with this evil queen of pentacles reverse. Like they actually, they're ready to stop being dumb. They're ready stop, to stop being a clown. The fool, like when you think of the fool, it's like, oh, okay, they're a fool. No, the fool is, is where you can, you have the most potential. They're ready to start something new, whether it's, um, buying a new car, whether it's going into a new relationship, anything, it's something new. They're ready to jump into the, the something new. They want to have a conversation. They're not, the, the, the fool is, is like bravery to me. Like that's ultimate bravery. So they do want to tell you, like, they know what they did wrong. Um, they, they're sorry for it. And they don't know if you're going to accept it. Two of Wands. They're trying, they want to have a possible dinner with you. Get together and have a drink. Whatever it is. They want to express themselves with you honestly. But you have choices now. Because you've been hurt. You're, you're finally healing from this Ten of Swords. You're finally healing from that Three of Swords, wherever it went. You know, you're, you're getting past this. So now you're just like, do I want to do this with you again? Are you being sincere? I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can trust you anymore. Let's see. Spirit, can you tell us what our collective will be thinking about this offer? What will collective be thinking about this offer? Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles reversed. Wow, there's a lot of Pentacles here. You're not sure. You're you're. See how you have your back turned to this person? Again, if you're male, just consider you here and the female there, or you know, you're not sure. See, this person's desperate to get your attention again, but you're just like, I'm too good for this. You know, look at me. I'm beautiful. I'm spiritual. I'm extravagant. I'm knowledgeable. I'm successful. And you've screwed me over so many times. And you're just kind of creepy to me now. Look how creepy this person looks now. Oh, I want you so bad. I want you so bad. You're so beautiful. And she's like, uh, I know. I'm very beautiful. Look at my ass. Like it's banging, but banging. But now you're creepy, creepy as fuck. And you've caused me a lot of pain. And now I don't know if I want you back. Baby. As Spiritual Sag would say. Spiritual Sag is a great reader. Um, there's a lot of readers that I watch, so maybe I'll make a video and I'll just post everybody who I watch on there and you can go and check them out. But Spiritual Sag, she's great. I love her. Um, but she always says, baby. <laughs> um, now we have King of Pentacles, but in the reverse, you're looking at this person like you ain't no damn King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is like, you know, abundant. They're strong. They're smart. They're brave. 
but all the stuff that they this person has put you through now they're not like that you don't see them like that to you anymore now it's reversed now you're looking at them like you're crazy boy like you're just a little boy you're just a page you're just a peasant like you don't deserve me you don't deserve all this you don't deserve all this sorry where is it sometimes when people hit the there we go hit the lens and you don't deserve this you creepy motherfucker all about sex all about dipping your wand into all these other people you're very unsure about this and i do not blame you at all at all it's gross um okay i want to do a couple more cards i know this is a long reading but um, I'm enjoying it. I was really called to do this for you. And it may not resonate for you, but if it does, awesome. You guys, please leave likes and subscribe. Likes and subscriptions are motivation for me to keep going. Um, otherwise, I'll just do personal readings and I won't do YouTube videos. Because I'm not making any money off YouTube videos. And the only way I know if you appreciate these is if you push the like and you subscribe. And I'm all about validation. Okay, baby? So give me some validation. Subscribe to my channel. Push the like. If you want a reading, I'll put my email in the description. You can get a personal reading. Okay? All right. So. I didn't tell you what this was. Situations. Okay. It's from Intuitive Envisions 111. So let's just see what you have to say to them. What does the collective want to say to this person? This motherfucking king of pentacles in reverse. Look how sexy he is upright. Look at those muscles. You know, he's a little red for my taste. I kind of like brown men. So just envision that as like a nice black or brown man or super white if that's what you're into. But look at that booty sticking out of there and all those muscles. It looks so strong with that cape. Yeah. But he's a fucking upside down. This motherfucker's upside down. No, thank you. Nope, I don't care how big your dick is. You can go the fuck on or how tight your pussy is. Like, you're upside down. That means you got a lot of fucking baggage attached. All right. So, what does the collective have to say to their whack ass fucking person? Ooh, gossip? Okay. Jealousy, petty, envy. So you feel like this person's gossiping about you um, to their friends. They're being petty. Um, yeah, that's a king reversed or a queen reversed. That's, that's the imbalanced bullshit. These people, you think that, that he, that your person's petty. You think your person is, is envious and jealous of you and, um, whoever they're messing around with, same. On the table. So you could feel like maybe they really still do want you, which this whole reading has said, yes, they do. They do. They're realizing their mistakes. Um, you wanted to offer this person a proposal and a commitment, but they ended up acting like a fool. And so what do you do? Children in reverse. So you may have wanted to have children with this person in the past or maybe you got pregnant and then ended up um not having the baby for some reason you know um maybe you feel like their ch childness they act they used to be like so childlike but it ended up turning up to be like immature i see that in that like you just feel like they're immature and just lame trash let's see what else spirit what else spirit
love. So you do love this person. You love them. You put a lot of energy into this person. I'm surprised the Empress didn't come out or the Emperor. Because you do love this person. And, 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 and it's sad that they had to throw it away for this um, fucking Queen of uh, Pentacles Reverse. You know, it's like, damn, you know. It, it's just sad when people choose to go somewhere else. And, and I've done that. I've chosen to go other places. And it didn't work out for me. Would it have worked out with me and that person that I that I left? Probably not, you know. But it's just like, damn, would I avoided a bunch of drama? <laughs> Probably. But anyway, so you definitely love this person. Um, anchor chains weighed down. So you're 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 stressing still, you know. You still love this person. You want something more, and you but you know it just you can't. You know, I saw it with all with these other cards, like, you know, you're just like, I don't know if I want this weirdo, you know, like now I just, I, I see myself as this amazing person and you're just a creep, you know, interlude, there's definitely a pause and you may be watching some drama going on off the, to the side. You may be just eating your popcorn going, see? You picked the wrong one, motherfucker, you know, or bitch or whatever. But you're just like, I'm eating my popcorn. I'm going to go ahead and do my holiday thing. I'm going to enjoy my family and you're not going to be there because you messed me up, you know. Grip, anchor chains weighed down. Oh, I already said that. So, yeah, so it, it to me, it just looks like you're, oh, wow, on the bottom of the deck. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> What's that say? Soulmate. So this is one of your soulmates. Or at least you feel like they are. But soulmates aren't meant to be in our lives forever. Sometimes people are just there in a hot minute. One hot minute. And then they're gone. And... Just because you're soulmates doesn't mean you need to stay with them, you know, especially if they hurt you and if they're still confused. Like if they haven't done the spiritual growth and they're, they're not like ready to meet you at, in the same level, you know, in the same playing field and like do this with you, then next, next. So let's see what we have under here. Insatiable. So you really were attracted to this person, but you're done. You're done. You're done. Back is turned. You're done. Desire. You desire to be loved. You desire to be treated properly. Cleansing. You need to cleanse your energy away from this person. It's time to move on. You know, unless they completely did do a 180 and they actually like really, really changed. No. Stay focused. And, and this means eyes for you, fascinating and watching. So if you're focusing on them, if you're looking at their, their um, social media and stuff, just try to stop, you know. You don't need to be focusing on that. Focus on yourself. Put some beautiful pictures up of, of yourself and your life and your family and, and, you know, nature and all that. Like, focus on something else besides them. But it looks like they are focusing on you. Ooh, it's a creepy card. All right. And then once you start focusing on yourself, you're going to find a commitment, whether it's a commitment to yourself, you're going to be committed to yourself, or you're going to find somebody else new that you're going to be able to be committed to and love and somebody who loves you too. You don't have to put up with this bullshit where that makes you feel crazy, makes you feel like a pressure cooker and you're just like so confused you want to explode. No, no, you know, relationships that make you want to escape because you're just so damn confused and sad no 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 no. maybe you need to start writing in a journal or doing videos and just explaining yourself as far as like your life's journey focus on you baby focus on you 
sold, moving out, it's over. Time to move to a new, new house. Time to move to a new road. You know, it's time to, oh, Archangel Michael, I didn't even see that. You're being guided. Ask for Archangel Michael to protect you against anything um, that is against you, okay? To protect you against all evil and all negative energies and just um, cleanse yourself and stay focused. You stay focused on yourself and your healing. Because I already feel like with all these cards, man, you're over it. Even if it's your damn soulmate. Unless they completely do a 180 and they do everything that they can to show you that they've changed and they're really dedicated. No, you need to bounce out, man. You need to bounce out and, and not let that weirdo... I just keep coming back to this. Like, that dude just looks creepy, bro. Ugh. Look how beautiful she is. And look how desperate he looks. That's just nasty. Like, how many other women or men are, is this person doing that to? Let me touch you. Let me get it wet. Let me get it in. No. That's nasty. Have more class than that, right? Ugh. So... <laughs> This is a long ass video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you soon. Let me know what you thought and uh, much love. Bye.